Chill the Ice Cube, the story of the face changes of an ice cube. Everybody, this is Chill. She's coming with us on this magnificent adventure through the face changes process, aren't you? Yes, I am. I'm so, so, so excited. My whole life I was waiting for this, and I, w I just can't believe I'm going to do it. I can't wait to figure out what else I can become besides just an ice cube. So are we, and we're also going to be learning so much science on the way, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, chill. Right now you're in the ice cube stage, but for us we're in the solid stage. Your intermolecular particles are tightly packed and have not a lot of space to move. All they can do is vibrate. An ice cube can only be an ice cube if it's minus zero degrees, and right now we're in Antarctica, so obviously, yes, it is my, minus zero degrees. No wonder you're still an ice cube. Oh yeah, also here's a diagram to show what the particles would look like in tiny little microscope. It's so warm. Don't worry. I've just brought you to the desert biome. It's turned zero degrees to 100 degrees. Right now you're in the melting zone. It's only 45 degrees and you're almost fully liquid. Your intermolecular particles have gained energy and now have more space in between them, which means they have more space to move around. Whee! Oh my gosh. What's happened to me? I've turned into a... Uh, uh, well, right now you've turned into a fully liquid. Now you have no definite shape, but you still have a definite volume. You just went to the next phase. Since you've gone from a solid to a liquid, it's called melting. And here's a diagram of the of your particles. They have more intermolecular distance in between them, which means they have more space to move around. Be careful of the lava. It's over 100 degrees, so it'll turn you straight into a gas. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, now you're officially a gas. Your particles have unlimited space to move around. Going from a liquid to a gas is called evaporation. You just evaporate in t from a liquid into a gas. You're, you're over 100 degrees to be a gas. So if the temperature drops, then you will turn back into a liquid. Here is a diagram of where your particles are. For so much space, that's how all, every one of us can move through the air. Also, you have you no definite shape or volume. So when you're in a container, you take the shape of the container, and when you weigh yourself, you get no weight. Chill! Look out for the cold air! I'm a, I'm a liquid! Exactly, you're back into a liquid. Going from a gas to a liquid is called condensation. When the cold air hits you, it takes away energy, so... The energy from being a gas was taken away from you, and now you're back into a liquid. It's starting to get c c cold, like minus zero degrees cold. You're going to start to freeze because even more energy is being taken away from you. Your particles are coming together, and you're going to turn back into a solid. Wait, so you mean that my particles are coming together, so we're going to only vibrate instead of move around? Exactly, and that's what a solid is, isn't it? Yeah, but, uh, it is getting really cold. Wee! Yay! I'm I'm back into a a solid, right? You've returned back into an ice cube. Exactly. That process you just went through was what do you think it was? Um uh melting? No, that's going from a solid into a liquid. You just went through freezing. Congratulations. You've gone through the phase changes and now you know almost everything about it. You can now you now know that going from solid to a liquid is melting, going from a liquid to a gas is evaporating, going from a gas back to a liquid is condensation, and going from and going from a liquid to a solid is freezing. You now know everything about it and the temperatures they at, they're at to do that. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You've now gone through this marvelous adventure and you're able to tell everyone about it and all the science you've learned. I, it's time for me to go now. I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. Thank you.